Hey guys! So basically a lot of you guys wanted to see how we found out about this pregnancy. It is a quite short story so nothing long, nothing crazy but just like the way it happened, me and Alex, we believe that everything happens for a reason. Everything that has happened in our life so far has happened for a reason. This pregnancy was planned. Some of you guys know that we were supposed to get married and that didn't end up happening because of COVID. We really wanted to have our third child, but we couldn't because we were supposed to have our wedding and like due to COVID, we didn't know if that was going to happen soon so we like held off on having another baby. We did feel like our lives were kind of like put on hold because of COVID and like the baby was put on hold due to COVID. We were like you know what we're tired of just having our lives on hold so let's just do it like we were ready um, and so we started trying for baby number three and we tried for four months before I found out that I was pregnant. During the first three months, I was so excited. And with Camila, like it kind of happened instantly. So when we started trying with this one, I was like, okay, you know, like it's gonna happen instantly. Um, I haven't really had that experience where like you have to try for months before you get pregnant. So I was really, really, really excited. So after the first month of trying, I had like five pregnancy tests stuffed in my drawer to use whenever like I felt the need to. And so the first month we were trying and then before my time of the month, I was like, oh, you know, like mentally, I was like, oh, you know, like I feel weird. I feel tired, blah, 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 blah. So I was like, maybe I'm pregnant. Let me take a pregnancy test. And the test came out negative. Same thing happened for the other two months. And by the third month, I was kind of like super disappointed. Like, okay, like maybe it's not the right time. Like maybe the baby is not supposed to come into our lives right now. We kept trying and come into the fourth month. So this is the month where I found out I was pregnant and like I before it was like all mental stuff that I was like trying to convince myself that I felt like I was pregnant even though I really wasn't but the fourth month I started feeling things I was like extremely tired and I had like the basic symptoms and then there was just one day we were driving in the car we were driving back home and I was like I feel like hard-boiled eggs and I felt so badly like I was craving it like I wanted it so as soon as we got home I made myself hard-boiled eggs and then later that night I was like that is friggin weird like I've never done that in my entire life that is weird like I think I'm pregnant but like I didn't want to get my hopes up so I just let it be but I had this internal feeling, I'm like, I think I'm pregnant, I think I'm pregnant, but I was scared to take a pregnancy test because all the other tests came out negative. So I was like, let me just like wait for my time of the month and if it doesn't come, then I'll know if I'm pregnant or not. And my time of the month is like the beginning of the month, so it's like rolling around to the beginning of the month and I'm like, I can't wait, like I really, really feel like it. And I even told Alex, I was like, I feel like I'm pregnant this time and I decided to take one of my pregnancy tests it was actually the last one in my drawer and I put the girls in the bath and before I put the girls in the bath I took the pregnancy test so I peed on the stick and then I put them in the bath I left the stick turned over in the bathroom put them in the bath and then while they were in the bath I decided to look at it I didn't have my phone with me or anything but I was like I didn't want to I didn't have it in my head so like I didn't want to get my hopes up so like I just looked at it spontaneously thinking that it was gonna be negative and like guys I was so shocked like I wish I wish I wish I wish I would have filmed that reaction because 
I was so shocked because it didn't happen the other three months. So I was like, I turned it over and I see it said pregnant on it. I have a picture that I will be posting eventually, but I was like, I took a picture and I was like, what the frig? I ran downstairs so like, you know, sometimes like for the other pregnancies, it's like, you, that's something you keep secret for a little bit and then you announce it to your husband in like a cute way. But I was just so shocked and so excited that I <laughs> left the girls in the bath. Don't worry, they're okay. Ariana is good with watching her when they're both in the bath together. I ran downstairs because Alex was on the couch and I was like you're not gonna believe it guess what and he didn't know that I took a pregnancy test like I did it secretly um so like I was like guess what and then I pulled it out of like the sweater I was wearing pocket and I showed him I was like it says it's pregnant he was like what really and like we hugged uh we we're crying I was crying I had tears in my eyes I was like oh my god I can't believe it's actually happening there's actually a little baby in my belly it was so so sweet we were so happy we were hugging for a while and then i had to go back up to watch the kids in the bath so that's basically it that's how we found out that i was pregnant and the story before leading up to that date so i wish i would have filmed it but it was just like such a spontaneous thing to just take the pregnancy test because i had such a strong feeling but not wanting to get my hopes up and then it actually ending out to be pregnant. So yeah, that's it guys. Bye. <laughs>